Hi, my name is Josie Loren. I am an actor, also going to law school in the fall. I started Keep It Kind, and that's what I do to keep my days busy. I've totally been bullied, and I don't mind talking about it um, because, you know, I learned a lot from it. It's kind of weird to, to say this, but so I'm Cuban, and like Greeks, like people who are like olive skin, like that, we're hairy people. Like, I'm just going to put it out there. Very hairy people. My hair is black. It ain't blonde. You can't like, it doesn't blend into my skin color. We see it. All right. And I went from, a, I came from a very, very Catholic conservative family. Um, and I went to a public school where they didn't have uniforms, but my mother was part of the school board. So I was literally the only kid in like a thousand that one year wore uniforms. But on top of that, I wasn't allowed to shave my legs. So this was awful. And on top of that, my grandmother was convinced that I was going to have scoliosis. So I had to use one of those rolling backpacks. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, that was me. So only one in uniform, literally the only one in uniform, it's painful, with <laughs> really, really hairy legs and a rolling backpack. People would come up like as it was as I was carrying it as a backpack and like put the handle all the way up, have to put it down, put down the handle, put it back on. It was really awful. And I didn't get the lessons till much later on. Uh, literally years later, once I was on Make It or Break It, because there was three guys and I'll never forget their names. I ran into one of them when I was back home in Miami and he was he was just like overly zealous to like be my friend and blah, blah, blah. And I was so angry. I was just so, so angry. And I told him and I told him like what he put me through in middle school. And we ended up having this like really, really in-depth conversation. And he was telling me about like all of the things that was going on in his life. And like his parents were divorcing and like all of these things were happening at home and he was miserable and blah, blah, blah. He's like, and he didn't even realize he's like, I'm sorry, I took it out on you. Um, he's like, I actually thought you were really, really cool. And, and you were nice and blah, blah, blah. And I just didn't realize what I was doing to you. And it was because of, you know, what was happening at home. And it just clicked for me there. I'm like, of course, like people, people bully other people because there's something going on with them. It's internal. It's so internal. Um, and I think at, especially it's, it's so prevalent at young ages because people don't know how to deal with those emotions and those feelings and those things that they're going through. I have, I definitely had an experience that, I mean, I'll forever um, be changed uh, having gone through it. My father was diagnosed with cancer and luckily Make It or Break It was canceled. So I wasn't, I wasn't on a, on a show daily. So I was able to go home and like help my family out because everyone else was working. And so basically I became my father's caretaker um, during the day. He was diagnosed with stage four, so every, you know, every day was a, every day was something. Um, and it, I mean, it rocked my world. To be, I learned so much. I was in the hospital every day. Uh, and being around these people who had cancer, um, doctors, nurses, like to see these people's strength and to see their positivity and to see their fight. Um, I'll always be different for that. And the things that like, you know, bothered me before and the things that I would worry about or stress about before, <laughs> literally I, I would laugh at, honestly. And just every moment, because everyone says, you know, live in the moment, appreciate right now. And, and I think it's, it's become a very cliche thing. But when I was going through that, nothing could be more real than that. Like everything mattered. Every, just holding his hand and I love you, a hug. Like it meant the world to me. You know, even now a year and a half later, sometimes I forget because I'm human. And, but when I do and I catch myself being caught up in pettiness, I'm at least able to remind myself and go back there and really appreciate the things that matter. Join We Stop Hate and the Body Shop to color your world beautiful. Hashtag color, color beautiful. beautiful. Josie, how do you color your world beautiful? I color my world beautiful by playing with my adopted puppy Ace. Oh, hi Ace. Say hi. <laughs> you see? He's the prettiest dog ever. Hi. Comment below with how you color your world beautiful <laughs> and you'll be entered to win a free We Stop Hate wristband. <laughs>